Welcome back to Stories for Shabbos. Today's wonderful story comes from a very special place and a very special person. Your cousin, Amuna, who just moved to Eretz Yisrael a few months ago, told us this story that she learned in her Gan, in her Israeli preschool. Listen to this story. There was a princess. Of course, it has to be a story about a princess. There was a princess. And she lived in the palace with her parents, the king and the queen. And you can imagine what it was like in a royal palace. They had all kinds of servants and workers and people cleaning and people cooking and a butler and a driver and a tailor. And one day, some of the king's helpers, some of the king's servants, came into her room, or her wing, because of course in a palace everybody has their own wing, their whole, their own whole section, and they came into her part of the palace and they started breaking the table where she ate her meals. She didn't know what was going on. They had a saw and they were cutting it in half and they were removing the legs and they were just taking away the table that she always ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner at. And she said to them, excuse me, how come you're breaking my table? And they said, well, your father, the king, told us to. And she said, why would he tell you to come and break my table? And they said, we don't know, we just follow the orders of the king. She was very confused and kind of sad that her beautiful table was gone. Yeah. The next day, you know what happened? She saw those same workers that came into her room. They started taking all of her clothes out of her closet, all of her beautiful dresses and gowns, and they started taking out the shelves and destroying her closet. And she said, excuse me, what are you doing? That's my clothes and that's my closet. Why are you taking everything away? And you know what they said? It's the king. Your father, the king, told us to. So we have to follow the orders of the king. And she said, well, why did my father tell you to do this? And they said, we don't know. We just follow the orders of the king. She was even more sad and even more confused. She was starting to get even a little bit angry. And the next day, you know what happened? The same. She came into her room and she saw that the workers were taking apart her bed that she slept in, her royal princess bed. They were cutting it into pieces and they were breaking the wood and they were carrying it out. And she said, what are you doing? That's my bed. Why are you taking it apart? Where am I gonna sleep? And they said, the king told us to, so we have to follow the orders of the king. She was starting to get really upset and she started calling out, Father, Father, King, what are you doing to me? Why are you asking them to break all my stuff? And then she noticed out of the corner of her eye something through the window. You know what she saw? A big carriage and a big truck that was coming carrying big, beautiful things. And she wondered, hmm, what's this? And then she saw other workers who were carrying out of the truck. Guess what? A big, beautiful table a golden covered table with beautiful designs. And then she saw them bringing in a whole new wardrobe with the fanciest, most beautiful dresses and gowns she ever saw. And then she saw the comfiest, yummiest, most beautiful looking bed with silk sheets and pillows and a headboard made from the finest wood and silver. And there was her father. And her father said, my sweet daughter, I asked my workers to take away all of your furniture over the past few days because I got you all new things. Bigger, more beautiful, more wonderful, and more special than ever before. That's the lesson of this story. That sometimes things in our lives break or get taken away because the king, who's the king? Hashem, right. Because Hashem sometimes takes things away and it makes us very upset. And sometimes we can even feel a little angry and definitely feel a little confused. But that's only because we haven't seen the end of the story yet. Hashem takes things away because He has something even bigger and better planned to give to us. And sometimes we have to wait, and sometimes we have to wait a long time until we get to see it. But we know we have Amuna. Thanks again for the story, Amuna. We have Amuna. We believe, we have faith that Hashem will give us even bigger and better things. And right now we're in the three weeks because Tisha B'Av is coming. And we're remembering specifically that Hashem took away the Beis HaMikdash and broke it. But we know that soon, hopefully today, 
very, very soon there will be a third base of Mikdash even bigger and more beautiful and more special than anything ever before because sometimes Hashem takes things away, but it's only because He has something better saved for you for later. Good job, everyone. Good job. Good job.